everybody. Uh, Marlene just did my makeup and uh, we're going to go dancing. We're thinking of going to uh, Oprah nightclub. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to show you uh, my outfit. Do you want to film my, my outfit? Okay, I'm back from the nightclub. Um, I said earlier that we were probably going to Club Oprah, but I wasn't feeling too confident tonight, and Oprah is a kind of a snobby place, so I proposed that instead we go to uh, Thursdays, which is, uh, well, I guess it's kind of a less snobby place because uh, it's geared at slightly older people. I think the average age at uh, Thursdays it has got to be something like 28, 30, whereas uh, Oprah, the average club is, the average age of the club is something like um, 18, 20. Um, so I went there with Marlene, and I was, I was really stressed tonight. I just wasn't really feeling confident. I was really wondering if people would be able to tell that we're trans, you know, and uh, if they would just let us in or not. But uh, things actually went really well. Uh, it seems nobody was able to tell that we were trans at all. And actually, like, we got hit on massively, like, never before. And <laughs> it was kind of funny. Um, tons of guys hit on us. And um, I went there and I paid, um, well, I paid the taxi and then I paid, um, I paid myself two drinks, Marlene didn't really want to drink anything, but I let her have uh, a little bit of my drink anyways, um, even though she didn't want to drink a whole drink by herself, she accepted. And then uh, these two guys came came by and Marlene just said, you know, oh, if you want to drink something more, you know, let's have those guys pay for it. And uh, and they did. They bought, they bought Marlene a beer and they bought me a... Uh, Two Smirnoff Ice. So I think it's my favorite um, bottled drink, and um, I got pretty drunk. I'm still kind of tipsy right now, but I got I got a lot more confident, you know. After uh, four drinks, I got one Sex on the Beach, one Rum and Coke, and then the two Smirnoff Ice, and it was I was really, uh, I think you know. Fairly drunk, but a lot more confident about dancing and passing and stuff. And then even more guys started hitting on us because I guess I, I was more confident and was smiling a lot, you know. And guys um, started to be a lot more attracted to to me, I guess, and hitting on me a lot more. And um, we had we had a good a great time overall. I would say it was fun. And uh, there's another guy who um, who started chatting with us and. Uh, I guess this one was playing kind of a nice guy, and uh, I told him I was drunk and I didn't want to drink anymore because he proposed to buy me a drink. So he accepted to just buy me like um, a bottle of water, which I, I thought was kind of nice. Um, and I just, I just sat for a bit with Marlene so I could sober up, and then uh, we chatted with a bunch of people and went back to dancing. And those two guys who uh, bought us the drinks first. Uh, I don't know, they, they were kind of, uh, they were like, um, where were those guys from? Um, I don't know the country's name in English, but anyways, they were uh, Arabic guys and they wanted to, uh, fuck us, basically. They, they offered to go, uh, back to their place and have a foursome. And then we told them we weren't interested and they just said, oh, we'll come back to our place, we'll just have beers and stuff. And yeah, we so trust you guys. We've never heard of date rape before, you know, we're totally stupid. Anyways, we we went back on the dance floor and we basically found some other guys that were attracted to us and 
dumped these two guys and kept dancing, you know, until the club closed, you know. And yeah, we had a lot of fun. Um, I guess Thursdays is a kind of an easy place because it's for slightly older people and it's easier to pass in that kind of environment I find in with like people are like 17, 18, 19, 20. But I, I got complimented a lot, I got hit a lot, and I guess that's kind of a confidence booster, which I guess I kind of needed right now. So it feels good. It was fun. Dancing was fun. And Marlene, uh, Marlene was, uh, had, a, had a great time too. It was nice overall. But yeah, the, then I ended, ended kind of weird though, because there's this guy who was uh, playing the nice guy who bought me a bottle of water. And uh, he offered to give us a ride back home, and we were going to go with that, but then uh, when we left, we were walking towards his car, Bentley, and he was like, Oh, I lost my keys. Do you want to wait for me in this hotel lobby right here while I go get the keys that I forgot at the bar? And Marlene was, and I was like, Oh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna wait. But like, Marlene, uh, Marlene just told me, you know, no, that's bullshit, you know, next thing he's gonna tell us, you know, if he forgot something in his room. And then I thought about it, and I thought, yeah, I'm probably slightly too drunk and being too naive right now, because, like, how can you forget your keys at the bar? How can you do that? Do you ever just go, like, to the bar and, like, oh, here's my car keys, can you keep them for me? I don't think that really happens in practice, as a matter of fact. And, like, how could he be sure that he forgot his keys at the so like, Marlene was probably right about this. The guy was bullshitting us and he was just playing the nice guy because it's like, it's his like, different strategy to get girls somehow. So anyways, we ended up taking uh, separate taxis to go back home. But yeah, it was kind of interesting. It's nice to know that I can pass really well and that guys do find me attractive. It's kind of flattering, even though I'm not into guys. Uh, so I had a good night overall, and um, it was fun. And uh, that's it for tonight. Um, I'm sorry I didn't really do a makeup video. I wanted to um, to do a video where I would film Marlene uh, doing my makeup, and she would give uh, advice, you know, and basically tell us what she's doing and why she's doing it. Um, but she didn't want to be filmed because she's really shy. She thinks that her English is not really good. She didn't want to be filmed. So uh, maybe another time, you know, maybe I'll just do a, a makeup video uh, by myself. Where I'll give advice on how to uh, do good makeup for uh, transsexual people. Yeah. I'm kind of shaking here because it's really cold right now. It's, uh, it's like minus 20 degrees Celsius outside. It's uh, below the freezing point. Far below the freezing point outside. It's, it's kind of cold today. But anyways, I had a good time, and uh, oh yeah, I guess I can show you this. Um, Aaron and I went shopping, you know, yesterday, and uh, we found some really great deals. I guess the recession has uh, that advantage. Things are really cheap right now. I wanted a, a smaller purse to go out, and I found this purse at this store called Smart Set. I got it for only five dollars, basically like half price. It was already on sale. And I think it's kind of cute and uh, it's really nice for uh, for going dancing because it's not uh, it's not burdensome. It's really nice. I also got those earrings for uh, two dollars fifty. So like really nice deals. So uh, that's going to be it for today. I hope you liked this video blog and uh, I'll make sure to. Um, to do a makeup video at some point. Um, I also got a viewer request recently. Um, some some guy said maybe I should make a video for admirers on how to um, how to date trans girls successfully because I guess um, a lot of trans girls are into men, and uh, admirers are the most readily available kind of men. So I guess it's probably worthwhile to give them some advice on how to date trans girls. So uh, I might do that. Uh, so that's it for tonight. Good night, people.